I don't know what New York is going through. You might be under new management. I'm not really sure. But I know this is not the same pollen from the last 35 years of my life. So, like, run that old pollen back. Because there's no reason why I should be allergic to the month of May. Uh, go, girl. Oh, I love Come her. on, that's Samantha on TikTok. She hit the nail on the head. And this might be the most beautiful time of the year, but can also be super miserable for the country's more than 80 million allergy sufferers. Yeah, a number that apparently is growing because allergies are getting worse and more people have them. Since the 70, rising, 70s, rising temperatures across 200 cities have led to longer allergy seasons. And this year alone, spring arrived up to three weeks early in the mm. South more than a month ahead of schedule in the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Achoo! All right, here with Morton to find out how to find some relief. NBC Medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar. Okay, so Dr. Azar, it is bad. Is it really, like, like our TikTok friend said, worse than it's ever been before? Yes, and I know we'd like to blame climate change for so many things, but we are blaming climate change also. Warmer temperatures means that the ground is thawing, thawing sooner. Things are, are blooming sooner than normal. We also have all this carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That's a man-made component mm -hmm. of climate change. That is all resulting in, number one, we're starting allergy season about 20 days earlier, ending about 10 days later. That adds a month to our suffering. Mm. And pollen counts are 20% higher than Ooh. they were in 1990. Wow. That's one generation. One generation. Wow. So it's longer and, and it's worse. worse. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that the light, Natalie. <laughs> have a good okay. weekend. All right, but you know, how do you know, because sometimes you, it feels like a cold. Yes, like, how right. do you know, if, do I have allergies or do I have a cold? Especially because some people who have never had allergies are suddenly getting allergies. Yes, and you know, people obviously can develop allergies at any time. So I thought it would be useful to put it as a Venn diagram. And in the middle of the diagram, you can see the symptoms that are common mm -hmm. to both allergies mm. and colds. We have a stuffy nose, a cough, and a sore throat. And here, if you, if you remember one thing from this segment, itchiness Water, in the eyes and right, the nose and the eyes. throat is allergy. Remember, colds are caused by viruses, fever, and achiness. That, but really it's the itchiness that's gonna and distinguish the two. Dr. Natalie, quickly. Yeah. Um, when is this going to be over? So allergies, remember, too, we have tra tree, trees, yeah. grass, and then weeds. So yeah. we have allergy season that's going from, like, February into October and November. But <laughs> some tips that you guys, I think, are really useful. We can throw a couple of these up for our viewers. You want to check your air quality before mm -hmm. you go outside to know what your pollen counts mm -hmm. are. Keep the windows and doors closed. I know we like yeah. to open that up in the spring. Mm -hmm. Avoid activity in the morning. That's when it's worse. Take off your clothes clothes and shower when you come inside Wash your and hair. HEPA filters mm -hmm. can also be really yeah. helpful. All right. All right. Thank you, Dr. Azar. Thank, Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel today all day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.